Welcome back. Welcome back. You know what? We've been lying to all our attendees. We didn't do a two-day conference. We did a three-day conference. I just opened the new day. It's Friday over here. Ah, okay. Yeah, time zones. Time zones <laughs> seem to have been a bit of a problem for some people this last two days. No, Myself included. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, but but uh, it's it's interesting because um, I mean we are somewhere in the middle. Everybody east of us uh, has been arriving on the Friday side for quite a while, mm -hmm. whereas the Americas is still middle of the day. Sometimes. Yeah. 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 Wow, we made it. <laughs> we made it. Hooray! Yeah. The three-day event. <laughs> How did you like it? Yeah, I think I think we definitely learned some lessons last year and we kind of put into action some things that have helped us a lot this year. So mm -hmm. not only with the tech, but also with the team. So making sure we had people available in case there were last minute cancellations, which we did have a few, but thankfully mm -hmm. things just carried on running seamlessly. And I think probably people didn't even notice us panicking in the background, which is the way it should be, you know? Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> um, true. So, yeah, and I feel like there's lots of new faces, people who I've not seen at events oh, yeah. like this or people who are new to Mortic who are coming and listening to some talks. Um, so, yeah, for me, that's great because we're we're sharing with people who don't necessarily know about us. And hopefully they've had an awesome time. Hopefully they've learned something. Yeah, yeah, that's an excellent point because uh, time and again you run in into people who live in their niches and mm. never really get in touch or ne never really get noticed. Uh, they, and um, to to connect the dots or to 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 help them get to the mainstream community, it's a good mm. point. It's it's also for me it's it's so valuable to find out that there are other people outside of my bubble wow <laughs> yeah. yeah and certainly yeah. what i find in open source is as soon as you actually know people you then mm. have someone you can go say how would you do this if you had this problem or like oh, have yeah. you seen this so it's oh, a bit yeah. easier when you actually know people that you've kind of chatted to because you feel yeah. like you can approach them and likewise they can approach you as well so it's like yeah. making those connections although albeit being a bit strange in this virtual world it's not quite the same but you know you don't yeah. exchange business cards instead you exchange linkedin links but anyway <laughs> if, yeah well to tell the truth I, I did talk to a couple of people and I uh, had a hard time looking them up at, at LinkedIn afterwards and some didn't have a Slack account and some mm. had, uh, well, I, I couldn't find them on LinkedIn, etc. So honestly, I'm not even in the routine of doing that uh, mm. like I would in a real world event. But I would really encourage everybody to try and follow up with, with all the connections you made. It, it's yeah. Maybe a handful, maybe more, maybe none. But if, if you did, Make sure to to stay in touch, and those those first steps are really not the deepest, no, but the most important ones. <laughs> like like uh, as you just said, to, to get started, to to connect with other community members, and to uh, to have starting points. If you have any sort of mm. question, at least you can can ask. Hey, do you know anybody who can help me with X Y Z? Yeah. Yeah. I'd also yeah. say if you've joined a session today and you really found it helpful, please do contact that speaker because it takes a lot of work to put together uh, talks for an event like this. And it takes a lot of guts to stand up and share your knowledge in this yeah. kind of setting. So, yeah, do try and take the opportunity to just shoot them an email and say, look, I thought what you said was really helpful and it's helped me do this or something like that. Yeah. Um, as a speaker, that's really helpful. But it's also nice on that personal connection level to know that people find your session helpful. It's really hard when you're doing something remotely. You don't have the audience in front of you and you can't really mm. sense whether people have found it helpful or not. So, And yeah. if you're watching this after on YouTube, post in the comments. <laughs> yeah, but, but if you did watch it live, um, 
shoot that email and that is so every single feedback is so incredibly mm -hmm. rewarding to that person who has spent all, all the time and effort uh yeah, so yeah sure. i support that yeah absolutely yeah and also before you run off don't forget to have your photo taken in the photo gallery so if you go on to the events and tracks and go to fun stuff you'll see there's a mm -hmm. photo booth that's like our equivalent of a uh, a photo at the event so if folks haven't done that yet do pop over there and uh and have a look uh Ooh. Nobody can hear Well me. done. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we were muted while I showed that picture. Uh, but that's what the mosaic looks like right now. We have like 10 spots left or so. Folks, please do run to the photo booth, take a picture, uh, and uh, fill in the blanks uh, so we get yeah. a complete group picture. Yes, absolutely. Mm. And? Yeah. And? Claim your swag. <laughs> oh, there it is. Hey. Oh, nice. <laughs> I think you've got a picture for that as well, haven't you? <laughs> uh, I even have uh, uh, our nice commercial. You want me to roll it? Here you go. There we <laughs> very okay. cool i love that <laughs> yeah there you go um tips so no, everyone should receive a, an email which has a link for you to just fill in your information on a landing page it'll ask you what region you're going to need to buy from and then we'll send you a code just as a heads up if there's anyone in the eu regions that are waiting for a code we ran out and we're waiting for Spreadshirt to send us some more. So you won't get that email until after the weekend or possibly on Monday. So just, yeah, just bear with us on that. Yeah, that's really just some administrative hiccups with the process <laughs> of how Spreadshirt yeah. works, but no worries. Yeah, yeah and uh, that's a ton of good stuff, it's not just T-shirts. So, yeah, check it out. I, I Whenever I go there, I order more, more than I intended to, but that's okay. <laughs> but that's fine, because we also get a small commission that comes back to the community <laughs> for every purchase. So that's the way you can kind of make it okay to buy more stuff, because you're supporting the community. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so go for it. Go so for yesterday it. we had uh, uh, an excellent average of more than 100 people uh, on average across the entire day. How did we do today, Ruth? Yeah, pretty much the same, actually. In fact, it was a bit higher, I think, at certain points in this day. Um, mm -hmm. So overall, I think it's been really impressive that we've managed to uh, sustain during the opening hours of this event really good attendance levels throughout the day. It does obviously drop off at certain points when different time zones are kind of coming to the end of their day. But it's been great to see all the people joining in and listening to the sessions, asking questions hanging out in the networking area and chatting. I really appreciated actually the Tiger Team sessions today where we had a little intro from the person who was pitching it and then you went and had a chat on the networking area. That was a really great way of like taking a discussion on. Indeed. Um, yeah. Which I think was really valuable, so. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, kind of tricky in this virtual manner, but on the other hand, if we had done a real life event we would have been even more limited so many people from mm -hmm. part of the world world would not have attended in the first place so it was a good start and yeah. uh next step will be we will reach out to other people who did not have the chance to attend because they did not attend the the, the conference uh, but mm -hmm. are of course still welcome to to the tiger teams and um yeah, yeah we, we we made a lot of plans today for for next steps so yeah looking forward yeah <sighs> absolutely mm. 
on the other hand, I, I, I'm looking forward to, to the real life events coming back. Yeah, we did, me too. We did talk about this dualism of, of sticking with the virtual global event, which is mm -hmm. just irreplaceable. Uh, so that's, that's just awesome, awesome. But, but having the chance to be together in a room and uh, um, work, work much closer together, etc. Mm. Uh, we will bring that back maybe this year. If not, then we will have a conference next year. And I think the plan is mm -hmm. to do that on a per continent basis. Yeah. Um, I'm 100% certain we will have some real life events like, like team sprints, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, in 21. And um, yeah, for sure, we will have the next virtual event around the same time next year. Yeah, I right? think so. I think it will be around the same time uh, yeah. next year. So yeah, keep your ear out because we'll hopefully firm up a date and start to, to decide on things. One of yeah. the probably most on asked question that I've had throughout this event is, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, there's so many awesome sessions. How am I going to watch them all afterwards because I couldn't get to them? Or the time zone caught me out and I missed the session I wanted to watch. So they will be up on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash C slash Mortic Org. If you subscribe to that channel and flick on notifications, you'll get a notification when we actually publish these. And it, But it probably won't be for one or two weeks because it takes us a lot of time to chop the videos up and do all of the rendering that we need to do before we upload them. Mm -hmm. um, so... It would be really appreciated if you don't email or Slack every day saying, where's my videos? Um, because yeah. people are working on them. <laughs> it just takes time. And if you want to help, please do join us in Morticon on Slack and uh, let us know you'd like to help with the videos and we will be able to help you get started with that. So, Yeah. Any spare cycles in your time slots or on your rendering machine are highly appreciated. Yeah. It's, it's Absolutely. It, yeah. it does. I think I did like about nine days solid of just doing video rendering last year. So it does take yeah. a long time. So I hope this, um, this year you do have a better machine. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, I do because my old one failed. <laughs> I lost all my information. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> but we do also have some thank yous that I want to say. So if I just add this up uh, onto the stream and get my view up okay so firstly i want to say a big thank you to all of our speakers because like i said last time it is hard work preparing a session for an event like this so these are all the speakers that we had on day one amazing bunch of folk day one went really well we had loads of people in lots of different locations we had the multilingual track running in the international room as well and then day two, we had a whole bunch of um, new speakers today and some people who actually did sessions on both days. So, yeah, big thank you to everyone who shared your knowledge, shared your thoughts and was able to help everyone in Mortic succeed by learning more about how to use Mortic. And then also I would say a big thank you to our sponsors, because without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to put this event on. If you didn't have a chance to pop into their booths, do. I know that Acquia is running an offer where you can put in your details and they are running a raffle for an Oculus device. And there's various other opportunities to learn more about the sponsors who've supported Mortic and supported this event. So please do drop in. If you're looking for Mortic services, at least have a call with them and learn what they offer. Because it might be that you don't need their services right now, but perhaps in the future, you'll come across someone who does need services that these partners and community sponsors provide. And also our silver sponsors, so Drop Ticker and Drop Solid, big thank you to them for all their support and Accelerant who came in fairly last minute actually, but they've been really great as our bronze, bronze sponsors. And some of you will have done this training course, the OS training course that happened, gosh, what was that, three days ago? Seems like forever ago, doesn't it? <laughs> um, so, yeah, they provided a two-day training, uh, a one-day, uh, 
I'll start again. It's been a long day. They they provided a half day training course for people who are doing uh, intermediate beginner level Mautic. And we also had a session from Acquira webinar. So yeah, big thank you to those organizations. And finally, a huge thank you to my partner in crime who's helped run this, Eki. <laughs> I think between us, we've had a lot of uh, sleepless nights over the last week or so, but oh, also wow. the whole team. So everyone who's helped to run a track, who's helped to be a runner and pick up things if they happened at the last minute and we needed some help, um, and did the marketing, created images for us, helped set things up, did the copywriting, you name it, these people have helped with it. So huge thanks to everyone. Many, many. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I couldn't agree more. It's, oopsie. Uh, oops. I couldn't agree more. It's, uh, as you already said, it felt great to, to build on what we did last year. Last mm -hmm. year it was all new. This year it was just iterating from there and improving. And uh, we have so many ideas already of uh, what else we can add and improve next year. And we did hear back from you. Uh, number one was definitely, what about recordings? Uh, so we need to communi communicate that more clearly. Yeah. Um, but there, there was more feedback like that. And we will actually uh, send out a, a feedback form to everybody, to all the attendees, and ask you for your uh, input and for your advice, really. So please mm -hmm. give it a little bit of time and give us the feedback and don't just be kind we, we love all the all the nice words in the world but but we also li like uh um all the ideas and room for improvements and don't tell me there's none so so uh please take that really serious and whatever you do but do give us feedback um uh, yeah, that's, yeah that's probably coming in on monday or something so tomorrow's be yeah, so we'll, we'll give you the weekend to kind of <laughs> absorb yeah. all of the. I know, like, even an in person event, but also this kind of event, sometimes you're just like, wow, what have I just experienced? And also, people practically probably need to catch up with your work after two mm -hmm. days out. So, yeah. probably it won't be until Monday um, that we start sending out this um, survey and communicating on more yeah. stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, and then lastly, I think I personally missed a lot of great talks, the ones that mm. I watched. There were so amazing ones among them, and uh, there must be many more. And uh, just last year, uh, I, I, uh, I spent a lot of time in watching videos. And uh, frankly, I did skip some or started some and, and then did not end them. But there were really, really valuable things that you mm. wouldn't find in a boilerplate webinar or whatever. So um, yeah, you, you did spend those two days with us and um, the life is, is irreplaceable, but, but um, there's there's a lot more. So take the advantage of, of uh, all the recordings that are up there for you. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like that's what I really value about this kind of event is that you never know what piece of information you're going to take away. And certainly mm. when I was running a digital agency, there were so many times when I was sitting in a session in a conference and I maybe wasn't quite fully paying attention or on Twitter or whatever. And suddenly the speaker said something and I was like, wow, you know, like a light bulb went off and I was like suddenly really interesting because it's that one thing that you pick up and you think that is so helpful. I can take that away and use that yeah. today, you know. Yeah. So if there's something like that that you've learned, I'd love to yeah. hear about it. So tweet about it and tell us what it is that you've taken away from this event that has really yeah. kind of um, given you fireworks going off in your mind of something. Um, the number one yeah. takeaway. Yeah. The number yeah. one takeaway. Or write a blog, you know. Oh, yeah. You like Always. content as well. So write a blog <laughs> and write the top five things that you took away from the Multic Conference Global or something like that. Be really awesome to hear that um, in the community. And obviously, once the videos are up, you can also then link to the videos. So, Yeah, good point. Yeah. The other thing for me, in, in real life events, I always come back uh, inspired, like full of energy. Um, and that rarely happens in, in those online events. But, but I have to say, it is the case with this Mordic conference. And um, 
I'm so happy it went well, and I'm, I'm glad uh, that that we had any didn't have any major hiccups. And frankly, I'm, I'm now happy it's over. <laughs> uh, yes. We're gonna celebrate slowly over the weekend. Enjoy the good weather, although it's it's dark now. It's, yeah. it's uh, almost 30 10 degrees centigrade still over here. Uh, yeah, that's it, folks. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to be taking a few days out. So mm. uh, I'll be back on Monday. <laughs> okay. But yeah, thank you everyone for having such a great uh, conference. It wouldn't happen without you. So everyone who's been involved, speakers, sponsors, team, attendees, everyone, thank you so much for supporting us. And hopefully we'll see you at the next one. Which won't yeah, be too and, far away. <laughs> no, and th th most of all, thank you to you who, uh, once again, you just killed it. You, you're the number yeah. one for a reason. <laughs> so. oh, it's a pleasure. It's an honor to be able to help the community and help the community grow. So, We're so glad to have you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank have you, everyone. Night. Have a good see night, afternoon, morning. We'll see you again soon. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.